In a previous lesson, we already introduced light polarization. Let's now talk a bit about how to obtain polarized light. Light polarization refers to the direction of oscillation of the electric field of an electromagnetic wave. Polarization can be linear if the electric field oscillates on the same plane. Remember that the E field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, just as the B field that is perpendicular to the direction of propagation and to the electric field. The general way to write the direction of the E field is by So, the E field has two components in the plane perpendicular to the pointing vector. Depending on the phase delta, this polarization will be linear, could be vertical, horizontal, diagonal, or with any arbitrary angle, or it could also be circular or elliptical. Look that we can combine the two components of the E field and turn them into the equation of an ellipse. This ellipse is centered at the origin and has major and minor axes E0 X and E0 Y. Photons coming from a light bulb or from the sun come polarized in all the directions. These sources of light produce unpolarized light. So, how do we obtain polarized light? Well, it can be obtained through processes such as absorption or reflection by some substances. While well, light of different polarizations is affected according to its polarization. That way one can select the direction of polarization if the other directions are removed. For example, a dichroic material absorbs selectively light of certain polarizations. We need to keep in mind that light is an electromagnetic oscillation and that oscillation interacts with electrons in the materials. That vibration of light can be transmitted or absorbed. A dichroic material absorbs light polarized in a specific direction of the dichroic material and allows the perpendicular direction to move on. It does so because light makes the electrons oscillate, which themselves create an electric field that cancels the electric field of the oscillation of light going forward in that particular direction. Dichroic materials can be certain doped polymers where there are long chains in one direction and electrons feel kind of free to oscillate in this particular direction, but not that much in the perpendicular. They oscillate and emit radiation which is right out of phase with incoming E-field. 
A perfect Detroit polarizer absorbs 50% of the incoming light. If you use two polarizers, you can call the first one the polarizer because it selects one particular polarization of the incoming light. And the second one you can call it the analyzer because you can use it to analyze some properties of light. If you place them perpendicular to each other, they will block all the incoming light. But if you place them with certain angle, some light will pass through both of them. Because you can write the polarization vector as with horizontal and vertical components, the amplitude of the E field that will go through the second one will be E naught times the cosine of theta. The irradiance that will go through the second one will be I naught cosine square of theta. Of course, depending on the material of the polarizer, this effect can depend on the wavelength. The amount of irradiance that makes it through a thickness x of a dichroic polarizer is I0 e to the minus alpha x, where alpha is a constant that depends on the material of the polarizer and x is the depth inside the polarizer. Extinction ratios can be of the order of 10 to the minus 5. May science be with you.